For setting a panel you need to click on the set button or right click on the panel. After this, the setting dialog will appear. The first step to set a regular input output panel is to edit the name of the panel. Then select the corresponding option and click on the next button. You can set the input source for an input output panel by choosing between video device, NDI, UDP, SRT. If you choose video device, you can set a deck link or intensity card as a source and you can set the input and the video mode. If you choose NDI, you can scan for NDI sources and choose one of them from the list. If you want a new DPSRT source, you need to choose between the type, UDP, RTP or SRT, then fill the required IP and port fields, and after that you can scan the stream. After scanning finishes, you can choose the program of the stream, the video track and the audio channel. This input config dialog allows you to set the info that you want it displayed on the desktop interface, total number of audio channels to be shown by the VU meter, alarms, channel label, details, contour. In case that you check alarms, and one of the alarms are triggered, you will have it displayed over the desktop panel. By clicking on the alarm thresholds button, you can display the dialog that allows you to set the parameters for all the supported alarms. After setting the input, you can set the output options. For output, you can choose the desired types of output by checking the corresponding checkbox. For UDP, SRT and for RTMP, you must choose and set the presets as needed. You can choose to have the VU meter superimposed over the output image. A panel with alarm displayed over the preview, looks like the one pictured here. You can choose the audio pair channels to be monitored. The panel with active audio will show the audio monitor button in yellow.